Hi guys! Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to Massachusetts. Massachusetts. We actually planned that. <laughs> As if you couldn't tell. So, after our time at Duke, which as you have seen over the last week here on the vlog, it was crazy. Um, there was a lot of information. Yeah. Like, it was a lot of information to process. Yeah. And Duke had a lot of information to process. And uh, we spent a few days with family in Maryland and then made our way back home to Massachusetts and in many ways jumped back into ordinary fry life living. Yeah. Um, but there's, I think it, I think it's kind of a strange transition because there's so much information in the air and being yeah. processed and. And it's sort of like we had that week, but at this point nothing's changing. Yeah. So they're still processing information, like Duke's still processing information, we're still processing information. Um, and, and we want to make a video kind of recapping that week and where we're at with Mary's health and next steps and all of that. Yeah. Um, but before we get to that point, uh, we're going to pick up with the day we got back to Massachusetts and uh, enjoy the vlog. So you gotta breathe. Good morning guys. Guess what? Welcome back to Massachusetts. Uh, we actually arrived back last night after spending a few days with our family after our week at Duke. And so uh, I know there's been some kind of gaps in the timeline of the vlogs over the past couple of weeks, but it's been a crazy uh, journey. But hey, check it out. <laughs> Our friend Hannah decorated our house when we got home, or before we got home, uh, celebrate my birthday from last weekend. Anyways, welcome back to Massachusetts with us. Thanks for coming on this crazy journey with us. Uh, we've got a lot to update you guys on, and uh, we'll be bringing you along on everyday life as we uh, continue to take one day at a time. But uh, Mary's in doing her best. Hi, guys. Oh my gosh, I got so excited when he started the camera. I was like, are we vlogging? We are home. Did you just vlog though out there? So you told him we're home. I told him. We're home. Um, I'm obviously doing my best and doing all the normal things. Sitting my windowsill with my plants. I have a friend take care of my plants, thank you. And uh, she kept everything alive. Now. No fault to her, my Christmas tree is not happy, but he wasn't happy before we left. So, he is on the struggle bus. Welcome back to the vlogs. What a crazy week we had, but we made it through, and we're here to tell the, we live to tell the tale. So, back to normal life for now. You just never know what each day holds. So, strap on your seatbelts because this is a crazy life we live. Isn't life crazy? One day it feels smooth sailing normal and the next day it's like, what is happening? So, we're glad to bring you guys along and let's do it. Getting back from this long trip, I am so, so grateful that we waited to leave town until the repairman could come and fix our washer. Well, originally, it, it stopped working, what, like three weeks before we left on our trip? And they had to order the part, I guess the like door latch stopped working, so the washer like electronically wouldn't go, wouldn't start because the latch wasn't working. So, that was pretty annoying, having the washer not working when we were getting ready to go on the trip, but, we had to order the part and they said it wouldn't come in before we left on our trip but then it came the weekend before and so we called uh, the company and said hey 
the park came in, is there any way you could come this weekend? And they were like, we can come first thing Monday morning, and we were planning to leave on Monday, and we were like, okay, let's do it. I'm so glad we did that because coming back from the trip, we have all this dirty laundry and you know how unpacking is always kind of chaotic? I, at least for us, I feel like it's <coughs> you're exhausted from a trip, you have all the things to put away and that sort of thing. Anyways, I'm so thankful to have a working washer this morning. Yeah. So, I'm gonna do some laundry. I was starting to feel real weird and um, I was keeping an eye on my blood sugar and I looked down and I was like well it says 97 and like starting to head down so maybe that's why I feel weird well I tested and I'm 50 well I was 51 and then I tested again just to make sure it was like accurate it's 50 so we're going to stop and get some sugar for me but in, in, until we get there I'm gonna drink this watered down Dr. Pepper from last night Poor Delicious. thing. Delicious. Well, well, there's a gas station right there. We're gonna go get a drink, a juice or something. But, oh man, crazy. Well, We're, I don't know why. I think maybe that my dex comes on the struggle bus a little mm, bit. Didn't warn you. Well, it didn't warn me earlier. My toes went completely cold, so I knew I was dropping. But anyway, um. Maybe it's, well, I did wonder, I had emailed XCOM to find out about like going through all the testing last week, um, like to know if the transmitter can go through all the CAT scan machines. I think CAT scan, it's okay, but um, there's a guy watching uh, me. Apple juice or something? Um, or soda, tea? A tea would be great, right. thanks. Anyway, I hadn't heard back about the CAT scan machines. I think MRIs it can't go through, but CAT scan it can and it went through like three CAT scans last week. So hopefully that's okay. But anyway, um. <laughs> oh, crazy. I was just like sitting here. Actually, it made me start thinking about when I passed out last week. When I was passing, or before I passed out, everything got real quiet. And that's kind of what it sounds like when my blood sugar drops lower than usual. But I have no idea why it just dropped. It, I didn't go, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna get my blood sugar up and then we're going to pick up something exciting for Peter. And then we're gonna go get some flowers. But I forgot to say, then my Dexcom kind of, not quite, it didn't quite keep up. It says 86 and dropping straight down, but it's a little delayed it appears today. It's on a delay. Okay, I got her tea, but she is totally spacing out. Right but now. I am coming up. I'm 69. Okay, she's she's coming up, but she was so spaced. She was like mid sentence, and then I was thinking. It's not really that funny, except that I know she's coming in. Like, no, you have to laugh, people. Yeah. Here, you're yeah. driving. You have to laugh, or else you're. If you don't, I don't know. For us, laughter is. One feet. of many coping mechanisms. Yes. And so, anyway, I was, I thought I was like coherent, so I started a conversation, but then he started laughing, so it made me laugh. Okay, we're gonna keep laughing, and I'm gonna keep trying to tell him what I was telling him. I'll probably just space out, and then in 10 minutes, I'll be able to talk. Oh well. I think Mary's doing better, but I just came in to see her I'm picking up my birthday present, actually. It's a tool chest, but I need to move the car around to pick it up. We just pulled up to the flower place, and I saw the flowers, and I got so excited. I am really ready. I got my tool chest in the back. Yeah. And uh, Mary's going to get her flowers, and we're both going to be happy people. <laughs> if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button because we're gonna show you all the riveting flower footage the next few months. Yeah. And if you weren't here last year, we discovered the magic world of flowers and it, we truly loved it. Yeah, oh, they were, they were our family. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, that is true. I was really worried that our Duke trip was going to like obviously delay us from getting flowers and then they'd be out of the ones that I loved from last year and they have them. 
Mary loves these. This what are one. they called? They're called Verbena Crimson with Eye. Here it is. Obsession Crimson with Eye Verbena. Very cool. Okay, I'm thinking about getting the ones that are under there. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting beaver. You're supposed oh, to act natural. Oh, okay. Okay, well, this cart is giving our flowers the shaky shaky of their life. <laughs> Don't forget to laugh every day. It was like rhythmically shaking. Okay, shaky shaky. Oh, it's raining. Oh, wow. Sorry, camera. I'm so glad this is something we both love doing. Oh. It's much more fun with friends. Let's be friends. Best friends. Remember last time we got them on our way home from a long trip and our car was packed full <laughs> and we had no space for them? <laughs> oh man. Peter found those white flowers and they are really stunning and I think they come back each year. If I remember, I have no idea. Mary <coughs> just, uh, Transitioned rooms and much coughing ensued. Oh, aka I got off the couch. Yeah. <coughs> we got back from our shopping extravaganzas of getting flowers, and it was raining like a lot when we got home. So we have the flowers out, just sitting out in the flower bed, and we will plant them. If the weather's good, maybe tomorrow, uh, but we'll see. But we actually had a meeting here at our house tonight with some people from church. And uh, I think uh, Mary, once her lungs kind of recover from uh, <coughs> coughing, I think she's probably going to do her best and uh, we'll get ready for bed. Can we, um, could we bring a fan? into yeah. this room. Yes, absolutely. I probably only need it for like right now while I'm trying to breathe, but... I will go get it for you. Um, also there's... Those clothes are done. Oh, okay. Doing laundry. I will take care of that. Thank you. You're welcome. It's like in my arms. Yeah. We're a team. <clears throat> okay, I've recovered. I did my best. I put the work in. And I'm breathing a little easier now. And I want a salty snack. And I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to things like, I got this pack of olives. I already ate a pack, but I wanted to show you. I also got this pack of tuna. It's like tuna fish. Oops. I usually get tuna like this, but I got it in this, and I'm so excited to try it. Do you guys get excited about new little food things like that? It's even dolphin safe. I'm not sure why this is a danger to dolphins, but I'm sure there's a reason. 
So that's good to know if you are wondering about that. This is a lot easier because you don't have to worry. Oh, I was gonna say you don't have to worry about all the juice. Whoa, okay. I'm like hurting myself when I walked in from that room, like ran into the door. I think I'm trying not to cough. So I'm like, maybe I'm not paying attention and I'm running into things and dropping my tuna. I'm gonna make my tuna. I'm gonna stop talking because I don't wanna cough. My review, it's tuna, it's good. It's good to be home, you know? Like, we've been traveling for two weeks and it's been- Two and a half. Two and a half weeks and it's, it's like been- half a month. Yeah, kind of chaotic. Well, that's to put it lightly. Uh, but in the midst of it, we celebrated my birthday. And uh, that was fun to be around family for that. And I had a request that my mom would make lemon meringue pie. Uh, I, I've been really into lemon everything lately. And uh, I, it's kind of a childhood memory. It's my grandmother's recipe for lemon meringue pie and so she made it for me so i was just eating a little leftovers well mary eats some tuna <laughs> but uh we're gonna wrap it up here for tonight and say as, as always, always we, we will, will see, see you tomorrow, tomorrow. Good, good night, night. oh yeah and the most important and with the ollie boy i know you guys have missed that good night ollie we'll see you tomorrow